the $50 thrift challenge, guys. This is something that I've wanted to do for a while now. Get out to the op shops and spend 50 bucks only and see how much return I can get out of a $50 note. The whole purpose of this is to try and help anyone out there starting or thinking about getting into reselling to realize that you can just start with a very small investment and it can go such a long way. So I'm gonna limit myself just to the 50 bucks today and I'm also gonna limit myself just to the one op shop. So this is gonna be a fun one, the $50 challenge, the first time I've done it. Um, hopefully we'll get some gold. Now, I will be looking for really high profit items, so I'm not gonna try and buy bulk with my strategy. I'm just gonna look for items out there that just get a really big return on investment. So I'm gonna have eBay with me do the comp sold. I'm gonna show you that, and then it'll be a two-part series. I'm gonna show you what the results were once all these items sell, which hopefully won't be too far away. Um, so stick around for that, but if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button because we've just hit 500 subscribers, and I can't thank each and every one of you enough for one, subscribing, but two, continually tuning into the videos. It really does appreciate, and look, I just can't thank you enough. So let's get into this video, the $50 thrift challenge. I'm excited, I hope you are too, let's go. Mission complete. I have spent my $50. The lovely lady drew up a receipt for me just to prove it because I paid cash and she wasn't going to give me one. Um, so thank you very much for that to her. Um, I bought this Nordica polo for $4 in the end. I couldn't say no to that. Uh, really nice polo, red and white striped, size medium, 100% cotton. Thank you very much. That'll sell for about $25, I would imagine, on eBay. I'll put the comps up here for you now and uh, hopefully I'm correct. I bought this Ralph Lauren as well. You would have seen it straight off the shelf the minute I walked into the store on that mannequin. Um, it came to just nine, no, eight dollars. So I've spent eight dollars for the Ralph Lauren polo. Uh, that was a really cool one. It's a green, it's a big logo. Now the big logo does sell more. It's got the number three on it as well. So completely authentic, Ralph Lauren um, on there as well. So size, what was this, a medium for this one. I've sold one of these recently for 50 bucks, so I'm hoping I can get at least 40 for it. So that puts us up to $65 in total sales if they were to sell. Um, I've been doing a lot of work on my women's brands, guys, and the PE Nation brand here in Australia, at least anyway, is a very popular brand amongst the ladies. So to see a PE Nation jumper, I know that these, uh, I knew they're worth about $120, $100, something like that. Um, this was in the shops for just $10. So I've paid $10 for the PE Nation, and I'm pretty happy about it. So this one will sell, look, I don't exactly know, I'll have to do the comps, but I wanna get at least 40 bucks for it. Um, so let's just collectively say for those three pieces of clothing, $100. If we could sell them for $100, I'll be really happy there. I've paid $12 total. Um, the next was these shoes. Now, I had a look, I had a good look through the entire store to be honest, but I always make it a priority to have a look at the shoes. And I saw three boxed pairs of leather shoes from the brand Padders. So Padders footwear, don't know much about them. They are a British brand, so anyone in the UK watching this, let me know in the comments below if this is a ripping brand to get or if it's a dud. Um, they, are, they are genuine leather, they are leather shoes, and I was able to find three, well, there was actually five pairs of these, but to sort of help the budget, I only ended up buying three because I wanted to get a couple of different items, not make this an episode about me just buying five pairs of shoes. Um, but I bought three. So there was the really nice brown leathers right here. They were only $10, as you can see right there. So I bought a size nine in these brown leather. 
Uh, I also bought another pair of black leather as well, which are these ones. So awesome, nice pair of black leather shoes, still in the box over here. Um, and I don't know if you can see that or not, but they were $169. So $169 brand new pair of leather shoes and I've bought three of them. So if I can sell them for $100 boxed brand new on eBay and make it $300 worth of shoe sales, that's 300 plus the clothing is 400. I'd like to think there's about $400 worth of value here and I'd like to think there's a profit there of about $350. Um, look, I could be wrong. I'm gonna do some extensive uh, comp searching just to make 100% sure. I'm gonna list these up, but the fact that I've been able to find three pairs of brand new shoes in the op shop is unbelievable. Um, to find the PE Nation, to find Nordica, a really great brand, and to find Ralph Lauren. I've nailed the brands, I've nailed the quality, and that was really my goal going in. I wanted to not just buy bulk amount of items, but I wanted to find quality at a higher price per unit, which for these is five pairs for $50. So. I spent $10 per item here, which is a little bit more than I normally would, but that was my goal going into this all along. You've really got to make sure you're fine tooth combing every op shop that you're in because you don't want to miss any opportunity. You've really got to spend the time, find the right items, don't just buy anything. Make sure you're getting the item that's going to make you the most profit. It'll save you time when you get home because you won't have to list as much and you're going to get maximum return on the items that you're listing. So that would be my advice. I've tried to show you here today what the best I could do just out of one op shop I'm going to spend the rest of the day buying a few more things and taking my time and continuing to buy more today. But I'm going to do a second part two video a little bit later. And it's going to be, what did this $50 note that I originally had end up selling for? And I'm really hoping that it's going to be $400 worth of sales, $350 profit. Um, and it just goes to show that if you spend a bit of time on the weekends, even one op shop can generate a very big return. Hey guys, thanks very much for watching this episode. Really hope you got a kick out of it. Let me know in the comments below, what's your biggest return out of an op shop? What's the one thing that you've gone in and found and been able to flip? And what was the biggest generation of money for you? So put that in the comments below. Give the video a subscribe if you haven't done so already, because I'm going to be throwing out a ton of reseller content over the next couple of months. And give the video a like as well, because the YouTube channel loves it when you do. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you got enjoyment out of it. We'll catch you in the next episode. Bye for now. Thank you.